All right, 515, 82 degrees back in these tropics. Some things in red and orange and Lots you got to break colors. it all down because we're, we're done with all this stuff. The good news is <laughs> it does not directly impact us. Yes. Great. Yes, we have stuff to talk about, but it's not a concern of ours, so that's good. But there is a lot happening in the tropics, so it's something to be updated, something interesting. You see this little yellow area, that lemon looking thing right there. That's the remnants of Odette, and it could potentially redevelop. That's the type of tropic season we're having, so it could transform back into another tropical or subtropical storm. Meanwhile, we have another area of possible development, medium chance of development down here, exactly where Rose is already. So we have tropical storm Rose, and then this area out here, this disorganized cluster of showers and thunderstorms could potentially move over to where Rose is right now and then also form into a storm. As for Tropical Storm Rose, it has sustained winds of 40 miles an hour. It is expected to stay a tropical storm as it continues to move north in the Atlantic. It is a fish storm. Now, Tropical Storm Peter could bring some heavy rain to places like Puerto Rico. It does not impact us directly. We'll also stay out to sea, potentially head towards Bermuda, though. Expected to stay a tropical storm, though, as well. So that's what's going on in the tropics. Here back at home, mostly calm now this evening. Nice look out there outside. We're talking temperatures in the 80s right now, and it feels like 87, a temperature of 82 at the airport. A little bit of rain still. Most of us are dry, but we're seeing a little bit of rain pop up near Thibodeau and then all the way over towards Morgan City. The rest of the rain near the coastal area is really starting to push offshore. Temperatures again sitting in the 80s for everyone, and we are going to continue to cool down from here. Overnight tonight, we are talking 70s, low to mid 70s, partly cloudy. I can't roll out a few isolated showers, but most of us will continue to stay dry. And then tomorrow, we're going to do it all over again. 40% chance for rain, partly cloudy, another warm and humid day. Temperatures really getting up in to the upper 80s and I wouldn't be surprised if some of you reach 90 degrees. I think a lot of us could potentially reach 90 by Tuesday, by the way. So rain chances, they're in the forecast, scattered showers and thunderstorms, nothing widespread, but similar to today where a thunderstorm rolls on through 40% for tomorrow and Tuesday. And then notice how those rain chances drop and as rain chances drop, so will temperatures thanks to a cold front on the way. So near 90 tomorrow, a lot of us touching 90 on Tuesday, then that's nice. Lower 80s by Wednesday, that's really nice. Potentially the 70s on Thursday. So the cooler air is on the way. You'll really start, Sherman's dancing over there. I wish you could see it. <laughs> You'll really like this though, if you like the cooler weather, the morning temperatures, Thursday morning, 50s for the North Shore, 60s for the South Shore, Thursday afternoon, likely staying in the 70s, Thursday night into Friday morning, 50s and 60s once again. So fall officially arrives on Wednesday and we will feel like it.